analogous palettes. And um, we've spent some time selecting our paints and playing with them to see how they work together. And we know that we're going to be using alcohol inks and we're moving into acrylic paint markers. So we've tested them all to see how they work together and made notes so that if we want to use this palette again in the future, we know what we're doing. So there are my notes and I've got my paints out here. And I'm just starting to put these down in a real rough manner on my clay board. And um, I'm also using a Stabilo pencil to get some shadow effects. And then I kind of set it with a little white paint. See how it blends in with that white. And then I kind of pull back some with the baby white to just leave that little shadow there. I am using my fingers because it just goes faster when you're working on this size. And if you wanted to, you could leave off your gloves too, right? Well, you could, but not I have a fancy <laughs> They thought the black gloves were sexy oh, and... Um, <laughs> they were just trying to make you feel good. <laughs> they were just making me feel good. And I have a really bad cut on this hand. Oh, and yeah. I'm trying to protect it from um, paint. But yeah, these are not toxic paints. You could definitely leave the gloves off. Because some people like that hope. Yeah. Paint yeah. under your fingernails. Though. Yeah, I know. And I do that sometimes, but I must just be really violent because I almost always have cuts on my hands. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. We've previously carved these clay boards, so you can see where we've got the little yeah, the like carves that. down there. And what I'm trying to do is like jam certain colors down into the carved parts. This is um this is the wood icing texture paste here that I've used. And look and how that just goes right down in there. It, right? I did. Well, I just painted on top of it, really. Oh, okay. So it, it and then, yeah. but it goes down there and it stays in those little depressed areas. And we're trying to stay rough and free at this stage of the game. I don't want anybody to get too, you know, caught up in the process where they tighten up. I want to stay loose. We got plenty of time to get nervous about it later. <laughs> <laughs> the nervous part comes in the afternoon. Yeah, the nervous part comes a little bit later. No. <laughs> no. Anybody who works with me knows that there are no mistakes. <laughs> so tell us about this part right here where you've got, it looks like newspaper or book page. I just have a little collage bit in there. And I've done that in a few places just to add some interest in addition to my carved parts and then my textural parts. These are texture created with stencil. These are just I wrote And these are your stencils, texture. right? Yeah, they are. They Tell are us a little bit stencils. about those. You, you created a line of stencils. I did. I, um, I have been hand cutting my own stencils for years. And some friends of mine saw them and wanted them, basically. So I thought, wow, you're kidding. <laughs> you know? So I started drawing them out. And I transferred them into Photoshop. And then I cleaned them up and turned them into vector files. And um, a stencil company makes them for me now. So. And when you were at Art Fest, they all sold out. Like, they did all sell The out. very first time, because we were there. And people were just like, oh, wow. It was like a bunch of piranhas hit my table. <laughs> I was like, where do these people come from? <laughs> so, um, and you're gonna have those tomorrow, right? I am. I'm gonna cool. have them tomorrow, and cool. I have other designs in the works. If Ooh. I can ever get enough time yeah, to do them. Um, yeah, you're just gonna have to multitask yeah, more. Yeah, I know. I know. I really like so, that part. This part right with here. This part down here. Yeah. yeah. This is the um, this is the wood icing with just a simple um, stamp <laughs> pressed into it. I don't know where it is. It's gone, but it was just a simple rubber stamp pressed into it. It gets a really nice little effect. So um, as we keep going on this, we're going to involve more media. But right now, we're just using a moderate body paint, a moderate body acrylic paint. We're going to move into fluids and alcohol inks a little bit later on. I'm trying to control our approach so nobody gets completely overwhelmed by the options. Yeah, that, and I can see where that would happen. Look at that, when you just dab with the baby wipe. I mean, you know, it's great. It's just, it's interesting. Thank you very much. We'll come back and check later. You are very welcome.